all of that laundry that needs to be done. It's really not a lot, but you need to remember the fact that like everything I do is by three. Because there's George's clothes, my clothes, and Jesse's clothes. And we last did our laundry on Friday, I think. Because the weekend, the whole weekend we were out and about. So I didn't do any laundry during the weekend. Also because yesterday it was raining the whole day, I decided against doing any laundry because I didn't want to put into watch and then when I was warming to the school, it's a bit manguana and chichi chichi because nasty time she put up my cousin we had to go to the Jeep dealership because like I said before my mom's Jeep has some repairs that need to be done so it went we went with it today and they took it in just to do like a check then after that we went to Game City Mall and did a bunch of shopping we went into Mr. Price and we went into Pip we got stuff for my mom, my dad, George's mom a bunch of stuff for Jesse. I think all of our money, the majority of our money was spent on Jesse. And then for my nephew, like George's sister's son. Now I'm back home. I didn't carry you guys. Like I didn't vlog because the weather is bad, like I said. And we left so early in the morning, it was raining really badly. So I was like, ah, I'm just gonna leave the camera. The weather today is just bad, which is why I'm in this poor outfit situation. I am currently re-uploading this vlog. I had uploaded this vlog yesterday. Then she the mook had around 5 a.m. and then it said it was copyrighted but I was so exhausted now was just here. Then we left at like seven so I didn't have time to fix it. So we got home. I had to re-edit it and put new music, export it and now it's uploading. But the Wi-Fi is going like super super I don't think I'm gonna vlog much today because of this weather. Also today is Monday. The whole of last week, I didn't do any schoolwork or like Jesse's homework with them, like his holiday homework with them, because I wanted him to have the first week of the holiday just to be a kid, guys. Like, I didn't want to put that pressure on him, but now that that week is over, it's time for us to start his holiday homework, which is quite a bit of work, and also he has reading, right? Currently, he's reading Sunrise Book 5, but he's about halfway through, and I know that he'll finish this in about three days. So for the rest of the holiday, he'll be reading book six, which will probably take him a week, to be honest, to finish. I wish I had gotten book seven to ten, because I know we'd have finished them during this holiday, but it is what it is. I mean, maybe if I get, like, the PDF versions online, he can read those with me here. This is his holiday homework. It's quite a bit. I think there's about 10 to 15 pages of homework. These are extra books, so this is a book that I got him. That's just the numbers and stuff. Um, and then I got him this one, which is an English one. I think there were two math ones, but I think I carried one. Oh, I did carry the third one, which is this. This is just addition. My son really loves math. This is his kid's Bible. This week, the past week, to be honest, we haven't been reading it, but I'm going to start again today. And the good thing is now, like, that he's, like, learning to read. Some of the stories he can read through the entire thing by himself, save for small things like names and stuff like that. But he's actually really good at his reading now. And then this is an English workbook. I don't know if we're going to get through this, but we might get through a bit of it in this holiday.
soon give the eye a ring like hello brother I say I just saw them saw you post the spectacular photo keep it burning yes that's the most of it me the photo pass through I think I like the 32 a lot more. Five minutes past three, we've just come back home. I'm very exhausted. I'm gonna try and rest a bit and then I think I'm gonna wake up around like 4.30 and I'll start making dinner because it's the boys last night so I thought I'd make them like a nice little dinner. We were at Game City and then we went to Riverwalk because we wanted to go to spa to buy some stuff like groceries and stuff for dinner and snacks for the road for these guys for tomorrow. We didn't buy much today. We got some stuff for Jesse and then my mom did a bunch of shopping for my brother. Um, but for ourselves, this is what we got today. So let's do like a little mini haul. So I think everything here is from Mr. Price. Um, okay, these I got from Pip, but I got the Bramley Shea Butter Tissue Oil oh, and then the Cocoa Heaven one. I didn't get the Magnolia, but I know everyone uses the Magnolia and they really like it. So I think maybe I'll get it next. I've just never tried Bramley like skin oils before, tissue oils before. So I'm just giving these a try and we'll see how that goes. But these were like 20 Pula each, which is like a dollar something maybe. And then George got me these cute little sneakers he wanted to give me the white ones but i was like mm, no i'm going to be generous so personally i'm not trying to clean up white so i think this is a very cute color and then um george also got these pants for himself he saw these the day after we came he really liked them and i think that time they were about 399 pula but today we got them on sale at mr price and they were just a hundred puller exactly which is just about maybe eight bucks and some change so very cute and very affordable for this style so i got the bottega dupes if you know you know these were 29 pula 99 so basically 30 pula um very affordable but like so cute i don't know how long these are gonna last but for as long as they do i will be wearing them then i also got um these rings i'm very obsessed with rings lately i don't know why but i just really like them so I got gold rings because I just like my jewelry in gold and there's one, two, three, four, five of them. I don't think I'll wear all of them. I think these three definitely and this one. This one I don't really like. The cargo pants that I was trying on in Mr. Price, I loved them so so much. I think size like they both fit, but I think size 30 is just a bit too snug for me and I didn't like the way it fit because it was just like a bit too tight. So I think I'm gonna go back and get size 32. It looked really cute and I just love like how they are like wide legged at the bottom and how they fit, you know, on my waist and everything. So I definitely think I'm gonna go back and get those. Um hopefully when I go back they'll be on sale because I've noticed they're putting items on sale bit by bit. But this is George's suitcase which I need to pack. We've got grape juice, um, Pringles, um, the Reese's peanut butter cups, some top of the room, got the bean fancy, Maynard's, the candy that I got last time, but the hot tamales flavor. Thank you. 
go to the pharmacy to get some stuff for my mom because okay she's not feeling well um she's got a pretty bad flu so I had to get her some meds and then I also got some stuff for my scalp because like I said in the last vlog my scalp I had a really bad reaction to the full locks that I got last that I had before and I've never really had a reaction to synthetic fiber I've had reactions to like human hair back 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 like years ago and I was like in uni when I went through my little weaves phase and then I quickly quit that um, but I've never had reaction to synthetic fiber so it's quite a shock but it's actually quite bad um, but the pharmacist said to just use this meal deep conditioner um, which she says is really good for it and then she told me to look for like a soothing um, scalp treatment which I couldn't find in that pharmacy so I'm gonna go look for it later and also for like a soothing scalp oil I didn't bring any of my own hair oil this time around because it has peppermint it would have worked perfectly well but the day we're coming to Botswana I dropped my bottle and broke it and I didn't want to make another bottle so I was just like ah so instead I just got um, some jojoba oil which is great because it is like soothing so it says it soothes scalp um, hydrates hair it's light and non-greasy and it conditions their hair as well and yeah and then I also got some goat's milk body lotion for myself it's just yeah it's a moisturizing skin um, cream by Kiss Beauty because George took my lotion that I came with here when he left so I needed something to use the rest of the time we're here I got myself two sets of nails these are like the very basic, very cheap, you know, nails, just white, which works perfectly fine. And then I got these just for like a little bit of a design, a little bit of like a slay moment. Um, I never get my nails done professionally. I used to, and when I used to, I'd only get them done maybe once every two months or three months. And specifically on my birthday and around December. But still now, I don't mind doing them on my birthday and around December. It's just that the place I get my nails done is like 60 bucks plus for a nail set and I'm not trying to do that every month so and I like doing my nails like changing up my nails because a lot of the times with my clients I'll have to do like videos where I'm showing products with my hands and stuff so my nails always need to be done but then I always like to switch them up so that it's not like the exact same nail set in every single video similarly I don't want it to be the exact same hairstyle in every single video which is why I like switching them up so it's just more affordable and sensible to do um, press on nails I'm actually gonna get let's just see quite a few of these Mama, also it is very hot mm -hmm. Lovely. Bye, man, man. Bye, man, man. Bye, Jesse. Jesse is very excited today because he's like, I missed Dada, but like, he's so excited because he's not my new roommate, so he won't leave me alone. But yeah, that's everything that I got. Oh, I also got this three pack of facial serums. I've never used any sort of facial serum. Oh, ciao. I'm not a big skincare girly like that like on my face i wash my face with dust soap and then i put on i have like a what is it called a face cream that i use and sunscreen and that's it but i saw three face here i was like why not there's a vitamin c one hyaluronic acid one and a, res and a retinol one so we'll see how this goes i need to read on these properly first before i use them but yeah that's just another thing that i bought and lastly i got myself a spray bottle to use here in Botswana yeah um yeah but George and Lincoln called they said they've just crossed um the they just finished up like they're finishing up their border stuff at the Zim site so they've already crossed into Zim and now they're about to finish off and get to Harare um which is great for them they'll probably be there quite early because this is it's just it's a quarter to one so I don't know but they'll be there before like 8 p.m I think which is great for them so yeah i'll catch you guys later i have work i need to do i want to finish all my videos for this week today for my clients so that i don't have to do any more work for this week so that i can actually create content for myself 
So I'm sitting outside right now because I'm trying to get my hair to dry a little bit quicker. But basically I finally washed my hair like I told you guys I was going to do that scalp treatment. Um, and then also just like a protein treatment for my hair. I didn't film that for YouTube because I was filming that for Instagram and TikTok. I hope you can hear me because I'm outside and I'm underneath the tree. I then tried a wash and go. I've never once done a wash and go ever in my entire life. Even when my hair was really long. Never tried a wash and go. I used to just wear my afro however it came but I figured I would try a wash and go because why not you know um, and yeah never done it before I tried following a tutorial but it seemed like it was way too long so I did it kind of like the quick way I was just doing like large clumps of my hair at a time I hope that doesn't like ruin it but yeah it's gonna take quite a while to dry is what I figured because obviously there's water gel and hair mousse so there's a lot that needs to dry but hopefully that then like adds to the longevity of the wash and go hoping it lasts like at least five to seven days so that i don't have to do anything to my hair for the week so that i really give my scalp time to recover and then i can do some braids after that anyway um i figured since i'm outside as well i would you guys give you guys like a little tour of the complex since i haven't done that and then maybe we'll end the vlog after that so i'm sitting right in front of the tennis court and this is it it's a decent like normal sized tennis court very cute very well kept i haven't seen anyone actually playing tennis in here well i've seen some kids coming to play tennis but i see a lot of people using it to jog in the mornings and stuff like that and i think i'm gonna try doing that tomorrow as well because i do want to jog i just don't want to leave the complex because i don't trust the surroundings that well and then this is what you see when you leave the tennis courts. This is where we did our Christmas slash New Year's bright. I don't remember which one it was. The last time we were in Botswana. So it's very cute. It's a little bright area. It's a communal bright area. I think there's a second one. But like I say, I don't see a lot of people using these facilities. Um, I guess because everyone's always at work whenever we come. But yeah, it's a communal bright area. And then we have like a really beautiful garden space. So... This is like one side of the complex that I'm showing you. Um, but there's like another side as well. Just like a very cute garden space. Very pretty, very well kept. And then over here we have the swimming pool. This just says like the rules. No kids inside about adults and stuff like that. And then we can go under the shade. Okay, this is better. So this is the actual swimming pool. It's a pretty decent size. It's got a shallow end with the stairs there. And then it's got a deep end over there. I think we want to try go for a swim this weekend the kids really do want to swim so I think we're just gonna swim for them but then yeah and then it's got like this little like cabana type um, umbrella thing here that one doesn't have the grass on it anymore so yeah and then leaving the pool you just continue like everything is very well kept I will say that much like the person who does the gardening here is always always here and he does his work like really well because it's really green and lush and pretty um try not to film inside people's houses okay and then over here you'll find a swing set this side of the place is really quiet i think because there are less like families with young kids over here but here you'll find like a little jungle gym situation and then a swing set over here and then down there is like a slide a seesaw and another swing set there's a whole other set of swings and jungle gym whatever like this down at the other side close to where my parents house is but i didn't want to show you guys that because all of the kids are playing there like our kids and all of the other kids from within the complex are playing there so i don't want to be filming people's children but it's basically literally exactly the same as this except it's basically right in front of my parents house so we get to see the kids playing um whilst we're indoors just to check that they're safe i'm thinking we should start bringing back like the secret emoji thing we used to do back in the day on the channel so if you made it this far into the video i want you to drop a tennis ball emoji down in the comment section don't say anything else okay the ones who don't know they're gonna have to figure it out for themselves but yeah secret emoji is a tennis ball emoji down in the comment section but um i pretty much showed you guys the whole of the complex like all of the amenities and stuff so yeah i think this is going to be the end of this vlog today's a thursday i think it's the 11th yes yeah, the 11th of april it's a thursday i'm telling you guys this i'm telling you guys this because my plan is for this video to be up tomorrow on friday the 12th um so to keep myself accountable i'm telling you guys the date okay if this video is not up on friday the 12th ask me why you are allowed to drill me in the comment section like you said um because i'm trying to keep myself accountable 
if I say I'm going to do something, I have to do it. And I think it transcends beyond just doing it for my clients and whatever. For me to be able to do that in every aspect of my life, I have to try and actually instill it in every aspect of my life. And that includes YouTube. I think what I've noticed is over time, I was now just putting like client work above my own personal stuff. And of course the client work is important because it pays me, right? But then I was starting to get so demotivated because then I'd feel like, oh, I really want to do something for myself and then I haven't done it because I'm putting so much importance in this and then even my client work was now starting to suffer for that reason so I think I'm learning to now just like create a healthy balance it's gonna take time but we're gonna get there um, but yeah I mean obviously sometimes realistically speaking I have to do what brings the bread okay but then also just to like fuel my creativity and help me develop my skills and like learn new things my own work actually is helpful for my client work as well so but anyway this is the end of the vlog i will catch you guys in the next one for me potato mommy that i'm sending you guys love and light bye